Do you want to learn how to replace the sky with Femora 10? Then stay tuned. Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today I'm going to show you how to replace the sky two different ways. We're going to use masks and we're going to use green screens. Let's go ahead and start off with the green screen effect and for that you're going to need two images. First image will be your base image we'll call it, your landscape image and the second image will be your sky, whatever you want to use for your sky. I got these off of Pixabay. I'll keep a, put a link in the uh, description for you. Okay, all we're gonna do is start off with your base clip, sample colors, and grab the green. Stretch it across. Double click the green. Grab it up here, and we need to adjust it a little bit. Now, the reason I'm showing you the green screen first is because you may notice that the horizon is not exactly level. It slopes off a little to the right. So I want to show you how to use the green screen effect to compensate for that little bit of a slope. And here's how I do it. Get yourself a box, your green screen box. Put the handle on the bottom so we can rotate. Alright, start bringing it in. And let's go ahead and get it lined up with... Um, now it doesn't have to be perfect. Guys, when you're replacing something, you can replace it with anything you want. Okay, so we're going to go right about there. And that's pretty good. Okay, stop. Grab another green screen. Stretch it across. Double click that one. Grab your corner handles. I think you see what we're about to do. Spin it around so that you can access this handle. If this handle goes above the screen, you won't be able to access it. All right, now what we're going to do is just give it a little curvature. And here's a tip for you. Once it's highlighted like that, you can use your keyboard arrows to adjust it in little fine movements like so. Now, is that a little too much of a curve? Is it not enough? That's up to you. I think that looks pretty good. So, boom. Now we have a curve sloping down to the right. Okay, everybody on board, everybody got it, and that's it. Let's export that file. Put it somewhere, call it whatever you want to call it, my green screen replace the sky video. I'm just going to call it video one so I can find it. Uh, make sure you set your settings to whatever you want in your final video. We'll leave this to default right now and go ahead and export it. All right. Open the folder you just exported to, what did I call it, video one, and just drag and drop that into your folder. Go ahead and take these out, left click, highlight them all, hit delete. After you've moved your video back into the folder, let's just go ahead and now pay attention to this guys. Drop it on track two. This is very important that you put it on two and not one. Take whatever background sky you want to use and put that on track one. Okay. Double click track two and turn on your chroma key green, thus removing all of the green on that track and allowing you whatever background you chose to shine through. And that's how you can replace the sky or a background or any whatever you want to replace using a green screen. Now I'm going to show you how to replace the sky or background with Filmora 10 using a mask. Grab your main footage, drop it onto track 1. Grab your sky or background and drop it onto track 2. Jump over to effects. Now I already have this saved as a favorite. If not, you can simply search for it. Image mask. Drop the image mask directly onto track two. Don't put it above it. Drop it on it. You can immediately see the effect. 
double click track 2, drill down to video effects and image mask. And under image mask you can see we have a lot of different pre-made shapes to choose from. Any of the rectangles will work with the square corners. We'll choose that one. Now you can simply start to adjust your background. Like we probably don't want that little bit of water right there in it. We just want the sky. And for that, you can just adjust the height. Sort of get some of that water out. Adjust the Y axis. Bring it down. And this is how we can kind of get that slope, but not really. Kind of faking it with a mask. Using the feather, it just sort of feathers it in to the existing sloping background. See that right there? And that is as easy as that. Now you can just trim it up, add special effects, do whatever you want to do at this point. Filmora 10 is just loaded with effects. You know, if I was going to do this for one of my real videos, I'd probably put some lightning effects up in there. I'd probably um, put some sort of a LUT over top of this to darken it up just slightly. And uh, that's it, guys. That is how you can replace the sky so easily with Filmora. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Please leave me links in the description to your versions of replacing the sky. I love to see how other people do it and what you can do with Filmora. See you soon.